Right then, Tesco in Chatham, urban exploring time. So this carries on from my other videos of Tesco's in Chatham, and in this video, we're doing a full urbex of a place. So along into Tesco's in Chatham, which is abandoned. A small part of it's been taken over by Go Outdoors, but most of it is still abandoned, with lots of bits to explore. And along to the lifts. There are three lifts here. These were built in the 70s, had a very bodge job mod in the 90s with the creepy digital lift controls voice. Then recently, two of the lifts were modernised by Otis with Otis belt cables a very weird mod in though these aren't Gen 2's and the other lift has a lighter less controls mod and the lift is more original looking first we go to the Otis ones and before I show these lifts let's just take a look at what it used to be like the floors here are restaurant level at the bottom then the lifts believe 10 centimetres above restaurant level is market level even though I think it's might just be the same floor height and it's just the logic does this because it can't cope with having two floors with the exact same height above this is restaurant a little creepy floor above Tesco's in Chatham which is abandoned then car Car parks 1 to 4 and then car parks 5 and 6 are abandoned. Market. Restaurant. Car park level 1. Car park level 2. Store level and exit. Store level and exit. Store level and exit. Store level, store level and exit. Store level and exit. Now, after these mods, the market level has now became ground floor. So the ground floor now opens on the other side where market is. Store level is now abandoned, no longer used. Restaurant level is also abandoned, no longer used. Meaning the restaurant side doors are now completely disabled because those doors never open anymore. Then it goes up to car parks one and two. Car parks three to six are now abandoned. So three and four got abandoned because too many drug dealers are up there. The only way up is to surf the lift. So we got open up lifts and were modernised for Otis. Look how big and heavy duty these lifts are. These lifts were proper well built in the 70s. And the Otis belt cable bodge onto these lifts is so weird. It's just bizarre to see belt cables on a really well built lift. Well, it turns out these are not the usual little tiny belt cables that Otis usually use. These are much bigger, heavier duty belt cables. And I'd love to see the motion for this, because this can't be a Gen 2 motor. A Gen 2 motor could not lift this. So it must be a regular motor, but with a Gen 2 sheave on it? That is so weird. Sadly, though, we can't actually get in the motor room. Let's surface lift up to the abandoned floors. And here, up on car park level 6. And we go up to car park 7, the roof level, and let's take a look around. Sadly, we can't get into the motor room, which is so annoying because it'd be so fascinating to see it. Go through here. So back to the lifts. Hmm, look at this random lift. It's in a basket. How did that happen? Was it anything to do with us? Doors. Closing. So we surf these lifts down. And we're now going to take a look at the lift that's had the lighter Leicester mod. This is what it looks like on the inside, looking a lot more original. And let's surf it. And notice on the top of this lift, it's got regular style cables, not Otis belt cables. Now we go back to the lifts modernised by Otis and let's now try the key for restaurant level. The lift still goes there but it doesn't open the doors. Door level and restaurant level are now abandoned and it never opens the doors on that side so the motor's disconnected.
And they've taken away the door motor. That door's actually screwed shut and the door motor's been disconnected, so it's not going to be opening. So, how do we get to the abandoned shop? Well, the same route which we took to get to the abandoned car park levels. We, of course, surf it. And here we are at the abandoned restaurant level. We are now inside Tesco's in Chatham. And the restaurant level is particularly epic looking. It's got a real 70s look to it. Let's take a look around. Right then, we go down the stairs from restaurant level down to the abandoned store level. Even though these lifts now have a new ground floor button which opens up on the market side, the lifts still chime on the abandoned store side, which is spooky having creepy chiming lifts that never open their doors. Interesting, they've got adverts on the windows for go outdoors, even though go outdoors doesn't occupy this part. So let's take a look around store level. Very dark, and from here we get a view very much showing what it is like. Notice the double height ceiling, and notice the area up on the left is restaurant level. And just to remind ourselves, this is what it used to look like. And let's take a look around store level and into some offices. And let's look around the abandoned store. And along to a staircase in the middle. We'll find out where this staircase goes to later. And now okay, I'm going through the abandoned store level to the back of it, where there is some back rooms. And another staircase. And over in the back rooms, there are two service lifts, which are abandoned and switched off. These service lifts go between two floors, store level and stockroom level. Sadly, the stockrooms are actually in use as the go outdoor stockrooms, and we couldn't actually get into this part, so we don't get to find out where these lifts go. So go back into store level and carry on looking around. and along to the goods lift in the middle of store level. This one goes between three floors, store level, restaurant level, and loading bay level. Let's open it up and see if the lift works. And the lift does not work for the inside buttons. But where does this lift go? And will it work on inspection? We find out later. So go back through store level to the main lifts. They're really creepy, these are. Nah. That's disabled. No corner. And we now go up to restaurant level and let's explore restaurant level. Up the spooky staircase and up we go to restaurant. So back up at restaurant level where we started, let's take a look at the toilets. So toilet, what's in the men's toilet? Here's the men's toilet. Can't open, no, it's bolted shut, so it's got life, but it can't open the door. No, no, I'm really hungry. 
And let's now go the other way, into the restaurant itself. It's very dark and creepy, being abandoned a long time. The restaurant went abandoned long before Tesco's did, and I've never actually known it to ever be open. So out the other side and we're now in the staff area. There's lots to see here. Let's first go into the staff canteen where the lights still work on PIR. This is what the staff canteen looks like. Let's go along to the staff kitchen area. And let's now take a look around the various staff rooms here. And into the men's toilets. and into the women's toilets. And now go along to the middle goods lift. We're currently at restaurant level and the lift's down at store level. You can't call it from a button, so let's open it up. My friend climbs down on top of the lift and it dries on inspection. Yes! This lift goes from store level, restaurant level and then loading bay level. So let's surf up to loading bay level to see what is up there. And on loading bay level is the manager's offices. Let's take a look around. Along into the first office area. And now go back to the lift and along to the motor room. Unlike the passenger lifts, these goods lifts are hydraulic. So out of the motor room and now along to the manager's office. It's got some very secure looking doors I still beep in a weird way when you open them. It has some weird locking system which is bypassing so you just open the door. And on this floor is where the money shoots go. So this is where a cashier would put money into a little box and then send it through air pressured pipes. And this is where the money would come out. So when this was in use, this would be a very secure office area which managed all the money. It's just 
and now go back to the goods lift. And now let's go looking around restaurant level. So when we now go outside on car park level one, we climb up onto this wall area and now let's go and explore this part and along above where the loading bay is. Thank you. 